Hi everyone, I am Adam. Welcome to the Vintage Sanctuary. So I paid the full sticker price for a card at the National. Now some have said, I never pay full sticker price. But this was a case where I had bought a couple other cards from this dealer and I had got a discount from his sticker price. But he was unwilling to budge on his sticker price and I thought the card was worth it. So hopefully I will not get kicked out of this wonderful vintage community for doing what I did, but I paid full sticker price for the card. Just a quick side story. Uh, my late father-in-law, a really great guy, but he, out of principle, would never pay full sticker price for anything. And uh, I had bought something at full sticker price. I don't remember what it was. It might have been a coin or something. And he did not understand why I would do that. That just made no sense to him. But for me, uh, you know, if something is worth, say, $50, but a dealer has it priced at $30, I might ask if he or she will take $25. But if they won't and I want the item and it's priced at comps or below comps, then, you know, I will uh, probably buy it anyway. So my wife and I were newly married. This was in 1988, or we were just about to get married. And uh, we bought a brand new car, a 1988 Toyota Tercel, one of those hatchbacks. The sticker price was around $7,000. And I remember my father-in-law and mother-in-law went with us to the dealership I think they helped us out by putting like a thousand dollar down payment on this car for us, which was really gracious. So I don't mind negotiating, but my father-in-law did the negotiating. And again, the sticker price MSRP was, I think a little over 7,000 and he offered $6,000. And so the sales rep said, well, I'm going to have to check with, you know, whoever the manager and I'll be back in a few minutes. Well, while he was gone, we looked outside and we saw uh, 5972 on a Toyota Tercel EZ from 1988. And you should have seen my father-in-law's face. He had just offered 6,000 on a car that had an MSRP a little over 7,000, but there was a sticker on one of them in the lot for 5972. He had offered $28 more than what he could buy one for on the lot. And you should have seen his face. He had broken his cardinal rule, <laughs> never pay more than sticker price. Well, the sales rep came back and said, uh, we cannot do that. We cannot sell you this car for 6,000, I'm sorry. And we said, well, what about that one in the lot there? It says 5972, it's the same thing. He said, oh, that's for this weekend, we have a you know, basically they're trying to get people to come in. So that's the one they priced really low. And we're like, well, then we'll take that one. It says 5972, we want it. And so we got it for the 5972. Okay, let me show you this beauty. This is the 1961 Tops number 350 Ernie Banks, and it is just absolutely gorgeous. By the way, this is my first 1961 Tops card. And also, by the way, I think I'm going to stop emphasizing price. I suppose if you really want to know the price of something uh, for comparison pur purposes, maybe you're shopping, you can always ask me in the comments and I'll generally be happy to share. I just don't want to generally focus on price. It's not my main point. But I will share this one was $30 uh, because I paid the full sticker price. And I guess when I get what I think is a pretty, pretty sweet deal, I'll probably be sharing the price then, of course. So I'm going to break my mold of sharing all these national prices and in the future, I'll probably stop focusing on price unless everybody wants me to or you ask me in the comments, I, I can let you know. But this was $30 and I thought that was really sweet because that is the, uh, you know, the grading fee, the SGC grading fee. So it's kind of sort of like getting the card for free. Now, when I showed this to John Mangini, he said he would have bought this card for $30. So I figured, okay, there's absolution. I have been restored into this wonderful vintage community. I'm not going to get kicked out for paying full sticker price. Check this gorgeous card out.
I mean the centering for a 61, my first 61, the corners, the colors, relatively print mark free. I see a little print mark up here. I just love that kind of lime green on the back. Ernie Banks, two-time back-to-back MVP that's talked about in the cartoon panels. 500 home run club member. Look at the home runs he's smashing here at the various seasons. Uh, Negro League player. Um, spent a couple years in the military. Just a truly amazing player. All right, let me show you the grade on this beauty. SGC 3.5. Now, when I talk about uh, cards as if they've been undergraded, I'm not saying they're truly undergraded. This may be the technical grade. All I'm really saying is that, because I think the graders generally do a nice job, but all I'm really saying is that, okay, this may be a 3.5. There's a little crinkly wrinkly on the back over here somewhere. I'm not sure if it will show up in the video or not. You kind of have to hold this thing at the right angle um, in a full moon, and that's about the only way you can see it. So I'm not saying it's not a 3.5. I'm just saying, wow, it is so incredibly gorgeous for the grade. Now, something you may not be aware of, which I think is, well, I have mixed feelings about this. Did you hear about the new stickers in the hobby? I know there have been stickers in the hobby. Um, for example, a certain uh, company will put stickers on cards to indicate their high end for the grade. There are various uh, feelings about those stickers. Well, a shout out to uh, Shoebox Legends, Shane at Shoebox Legends, because conversing with him gave me the idea for a new sticker for slabbed cards known as the grade multiplier sticker. All you have to do is send your card. I'm not sure. I probably shouldn't even say this because somebody's going to come up with this service. <laughs> you know, I probably shouldn't even point this idea out. But all you have to do is send your card to this service. They will look at it. And if they think it deserves a grade multiplier, they will give you the sticker. Of course, you'll pay for this service. Well, here's an early prototype type sticker. By the way, these stickers are not cheap. Cheap. They have quite a sticker price. Ha! All right. I'm giving this beauty a 3x multiplier sticker. So what does that mean? Well, you have to do a little math. I'm a math college math instructor, so this won't you know, be hard for me, but I know you can do the arithmetic as well. So you multiply that grade by three. 3.5 times three is 10.5. This is now a 10.5 gem mint plus because it has the 3x grade multiplier sticker. Sweet. <laughs> Sweet. This is now a 10.5 gem mint plus. Wow. This card is just stunning. Tell me in the comments below, would you have spent $30 on this card? I mean, and what grade does it look like to you? I'm just curious. Again, I'm not picking on SGC. I love SGC. I think they generally do a great job. But wow. So happy, so stoked to have this card. So stoked to have uh, the first prototype grade multiplier sticker uh, multiplying this grade by three. And so you are now looking, based on the sticker, at a 1961 Tops Ernie Banks 10.5 Gem Mint Plus. Wow. <laughs> this card is just stunning. Thank you for sharing in my joy. I hope you had a wonderful and peaceful time in the Vintage Sanctuary.